Let's see, we got up. I don't recognize a ton of people here. They are actually a pretty decent local scene, yeah. which is awesome, always. So that guy, I do know. I think that is Scooter. Scooter388. Oh, yeah, there we got S388. Yeah. Sweet. And this is Rylum, who is one of the co owners or something of uh, Arctic Fury. Oh, so awesome. Windows. Yeah. That's, so. that's really cool. They, they spawn for a lot of really great players, both for uh, Rivals and Smash 4. So. Yeah. That's always exciting, yeah. So he's on their team, and I've never seen him play. He said, uh, I know his fantasy team, he said, like, it's just me and a bunch of Arctic Fury people. So <laughs> he, he didn't give, like, much information on how he thought he was going to do. <laughs> so I'm ready. I mean, the, the thing is, if you sponsor a bunch of great players, that means you, you essentially can turn to them for advice at any time, right? Because, yeah. like, you, you deal with them all the time. And you probably know a little bit. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I mean, you if probably you want to watch the game. Yeah, what's to look for. Oh, right there. I like that little bait. It's, oh, gets nailed by his own rock, though. <laughs> yeah, both these guys, it's like, it's gonna be interesting to see the play style, because they're, they're both like, a, I guess like, I talked to the local TOs to get the seating done for this and yeah. stuff, since I don't know the local area, and they're like, these guys are both like right in the middle. So this is what we'll, we'll get to see, like some local best. I, I, I know the Midwest crowds can get really rowdy, but I think right now most of them are actually like playing in the pool itself, Ooh. but later on when we see Midwest players playing, I expect them to get very, very loud. Yeah. That's gonna be nice. And they're both using the Frostbite skins here, the uh, blue. Dude, the Frostbite skins are so nice, nice. though. Like, I, I want to know what the actual color code is, because I want to change my custom color to be the Frostbite <laughs> Apsa. Yeah, we'll, we're going to post that once we have it. All right, awesome. <laughs> once Thank it you. runs out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, Scooter uh, getting ahead here. Another uh, great back air. Getting caught off guard with that fair, but once again, he's more than ready for all of these rocks that are being thrown at him. I do like the uh, the pace aggression that he has, right? He's always giving uh, Rylum just enough time to throw out that parry first, mm -hmm. and is usually trying to swoop in to get that punish. Yeah, I was thinking these bo these guys are both like feeling each other out. They're both like playing pretty far away, not too fast. Uh, gets the second hit of F smash. That's of course not going to kill on Crag. Way I was wondering whether he had a double out there. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's the scary thing because it doesn't make any noise when he does it inside the smoke clouds. Yeah. That was a, that was actually a sweet update. <laughs> that was added uh, thanks to one of the beta testers. They were like, it would be super cool if you couldn't hear Force Rain inside the smoke. Yeah, I, it didn't I, used I, to be that way. It's incredibly flavorful. Oh, the clone! Whoa. Gonna need to make another clone, right? Yeah, oh, there we go. Okay. He actually makes it straight onto the ledge. A nice mix-up, putting the smoke out there. You think he's gonna go into the smoke, get his upbeat back, but no, right in the stage. <laughs> both players parry, you know it's high stakes already. They both even have extra stocks to give, but they realize how important that momentum is going to be. Yeah. Where's when killing with jab three? On Craig. That's something you see every day. All right, let's get out there. Let's go. I want to see. Yeah. Oh, that's some juicy 70% and a clone ready to go in the smoke. Oh, never mind. It was, uh, it was the real one in the smoke. <laughs> okay. Even it up. For Crag, this is not that much of a deficit. He can, uh, he's no problem. He's like, I'm 100%, that's fine, I got game. He's still got fair, you know. He's, <laughs> he's ready to roll. It's true, he always has fair. Whoa! Oh. Never mind. Yeah, I'd say, Force Burn's fair is not as good, but it is a whole hilarious animation. It's, I mean, it's kind of good because like it's combo glue. Oh so, like, yeah. He, like, you you nail one fair, you get like five more for yeah, free. Yeah, you chase him across the stage. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But as far as kill power, Craig's going to be leaning on his more than Force Burns for killing. And there we go. That should do it. A nice parry on side B. Gets that extra charge just for good measure, just yeah. in case. I mean, the, the DI on that was actually really good. He went straight to the corner on it. So Yeah. But too much of that, too much at that point. Mm -hmm. Not going to live. Oh, we got the Nintendo sponsor on the bottom. Yeah. That's super sweet. Nintendo. Saw that again. Yeah. Nintendo helps a lot with uh, with a lot of the recent Smash Four majors, and uh, so yeah, a lot of it was like with the legal nonsense too, as they help us get through in terms yeah. of broadcasting rights. Yeah. Yeah. It's awesome. Yeah. And I mean, Rivals of Ether is also another sponsor. So I yeah. saw that on there. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, we are here. <laughs> it was just too gauche to point it out yourself. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, okay. exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you you hid it at for me by pointing out Nintendo. I'm like, oh, I see, I see. No, I just, <laughs> it just caught my eye. <laughs> Oh man, all right, and we're gonna see Rodham take him over to Treetop Lodge. So a small stage, and I didn't see him be too aggressive uh, last match, but I guess we'll see what he can do on this. See if that's what he's aiming for. He wants to get in his face. Take him to the smallest place. Oh! 
just a little bit too late on that forward smash. Right idea though. Oh man. Oh, oh that's backer. <laughs> that's such a clever way to deal with the spawn invincibility yeah. because you have to just guess a cloud and attack it. That's great. I love seeing that. Like when you actually use Force Burn to do like what he's meant to do, yeah. Like you said, it's so flavorful. And that's uh -oh. the clone. He's gonna make it back. Oh, and that's the thing, if you try to buffer in a parry, uh Crag F Smash takes too long, so you yeah. end up just getting hit by it right afterwards. Not quick enough. Just these little happy little bits for Scooter. Finds the parry on the rollout and he ends up taking it with the back air. Yeah, I think he was expecting to get sent left, so he was holding right. Cause that was a little bit of a DDI. Oh yeah, it's I mean it's it's a uh, scary situation because you want to try to DI so that the back air can't really connect on you. Yeah. But if you if you make the wrong call and they connect the back air anyway, then you double die because <laughs> you're DIing in the completely wrong way. Yeah, you get on the other side of him and it's terrifying. Fortune's back air is so strong. Ooh, <laughs> that was a little close. I get scared when Crags just throw out the Randy F smashes. Oh Because it's God. like, even if they just clip you, it's like you're done. You're done, and it's like, you have to have the courage to then stand next to the Crag and wait for him to start F smashing and parry it. Or yeah. like, you know, and then like, then he might just jump and parry you suddenly. Or, or use one of his other tons and tons of good options. And that's always like, the mistake when you try to go in for the parry. And you could have avoided it, but you're going to get for the parry to get the punish. Mm -hmm. And you miss the timing, <laughs> and then you just get F smashed. Yeah. <laughs> and they're like, cool. Sweet. All right, Rylan's brought it back each game. I, I think that, oh, I'm not sure if he could live there or not. Maybe not. He went a little too far to the side, but. Yeah, that, that looks